So I got a new toy in the mail today. Got the Rock Crusher by Rivera. And I'm looking to decrease the volume of my 50 watt crate tube amp. Love the tone on this thing, but I'd love to get a little more tone by cranking it up without going completely deaf. So today we're gonna show you how to take a combo amp and change the wiring so that you can put an attenuator in the middle. So here we've got the back of my amp. You can see it's uh, got two 12s in it. And we've got a connection going directly from the amp itself to the speakers. And then there is a connection going from one speaker to the other. And there is no input jack to plug my attenuator into, so we're gonna make one. So surprisingly, there wasn't a lot of information on YouTube about how to do this. There was a couple videos. Uh, the best one was by the Guitar Geek, shout out to him. And in that video, he made a reversible mod, which I liked, put an electrical box inside the cabinet here. And what he did is wire one jack in and then a quarter inch female plug out, uh, but then he could plug back and forth as needed. Uh, I thought I'd take that a step farther and actually wire in two input jacks, and that way you could just connect with a small speaker cable if you didn't want to use your attenuator, but wouldn't have to use the female adapter, and you'll see what I mean by that in just a few minutes. So the first thing I did was find a really nice electrical box. I looked around at Home Depot and some of my local electronic stores, couldn't find really anything that was clean and self-contained that I liked. So I actually found this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you like this particular box. It's actually sealed for outside use. Uh, first thing I did was drill two small holes for my 16 gauge speaker wire to go into, and then two larger holes on the front to put two switchcraft jacks into. Next, I soldered up the speaker wires. There's tons of videos on how to solder correctly, so I thought that pretty boring. So we've got two coming in here, and then we have this labeled nicely on the front, amp in and speaker out. Uh, what I did is I wired this all together, put a couple zip ties so it can't pull through too far, and then I actually just left the speaker cable in one piece so that once I put it inside the amp, I can cut it to the right particular length that I want. So next, I've taken the wires off of uh, the speaker that came directly from the amp and found a rough place that I want to put my attenuator box. In my case, it's going to sit flush on the bottom here. And then I cut my speaker wires to the appropriate length. Next, we're going to strip them and put ends on them. So next, I cut the ends off the uh, quick connect that were on my amp going to that speaker and replaced them with these ones. Uh, then I got the Home Depot. They're coated in plastic so that they won't touch anything and short out. They also match perfectly to the other side, which we've uh, taken our box. We got one side that's female and one side that's male. And so uh, next we put it all together. So now you can see we've got uh, our wire here going to a nice little box that we've put down to the bottom of the amp. And it's nice and secure. Just put a couple of screws into the bottom. So if anything, take it out. There's a couple of screw holes in the bottom of the plywood. They don't go all the way through. It's not a big deal. We've got a nice labeled amp in speaker out. And we've got our connections here that are in this nice quick connect that uh, has no metal showing, so there's nothing to short out. If you use the ones that are metal, you gotta make sure you tape them. Uh, but again, completely reversible. If we uncook these and hook them back into here, it's like we never did anything, um, but we've got two nice jacks. If I wanna play this without my attenuator, then uh, I'm just gonna take a little one foot piece of speaker cable with the jacks and connect those two circuits, and it's like nothing was done but uh, very easy to have a line going in and a line going out to an attenuator. So here we have everything hooked up and in place. And we've got uh, two speaker cables that are coming out of here and go down to the attenuator. Everything's nice and clean, got this box in place. And if 
you look at it from the front. It's got the attenuator sitting below the amp. Kind of hard on a combo lamp to put it on top of it. You kind of need access to the switches. And that's it. Hope this helps anybody who wants to do this mod.